what's a concern for me is my big boobs and they need to go I'm always this close hey what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Silver Monique welcome welcome back I know I have not been recording for the longest I have not made a video in such a long time but I feel like I owe it to you guys to just come back and make a video let you guys know where I've been what I've been up to so go ahead and grab you something to drink because it's gonna be a good video we're just gonna chit chat have a little discussion because yeah we have some things to just talk about a lot to catch up on and let you guys know where I've been because your girl has been missing gone MIA for quite a while now so I actually have wrote down some things in my phone so I have the what to expect app downloaded on my phone and so that's what I'm going to be looking at but before we even get into like my pregnancy and how that has been let's get into where I've been <laughs> okay let's get into my life in a little bit you know I don't get too personal but let's just get into that just a little bit and the reason why I haven't been recording and things like that so where I've been you guys I work full-time now so I'm not I'm no longer at home full-time anymore I'm in a different state than my child's father right now and so I just been doing everything on my own basically so it's like it's been a lot so I have to work full-time and um, I just that's just been my life right now and then with baby girl coming you know it's just a lot going on I'd be tired and things like that so I'm I, I basically have two full-time jobs so I'm working for a full-time job you know going out every day waking up early making sure I go to work making sure I drop my daughter off at daycare and then I come home and that's another full-time job taking care of my daughter <laughs> right so it's like I really haven't had the time and, be, and plus being pregnant and on top of that like being tired and stuff I haven't had the energy to do what I need to do so that's really where I've been you guys I just been busy I just been working I just been focusing on this pregnancy and making sure that I'm healthy so that I can make sure my baby girl is healthy and not at high risk or anything like that so I apologize because I miss you guys you know I do plan on making more videos even if it's just little update videos on how I'm doing in this pregnancy and things like that my goal is to for the rest of this pregnancy to at least update you guys once a week on how I am doing what to expect some changes that I'm experiencing all of that so yeah that's what we're going to talk about and then once baby girl get here then we can get back into the regular regular. you feel me so that's what we're going to do and secondly, why I have not been creating any content is because I'm not even going to lie. Like, not only have I been exhausted and fatigue has been at an all-time high, but I just haven't been in, like, the right state of mind. Like, mentally and emotionally, I just, it's just, I just haven't been there. But all in all, I've been just focusing, just trying to get me grounded get me together at the end of the day i wake up and i do what i need to do no matter what i'm going through i still handle my business so it's just being able to create content and having that energy to be able to be like okay i'm gonna record a video or i'm gonna edit a video recording a video is is the easy part but it's just the editing part a good support system is very very important during pregnancy and I am blessed to say that I do have a great support system you know my mom has been amazing my father has been amazing one thing my dad gonna make sure is that I eat and so <laughs> they've been amazing so I'm blessed to have them too shout out to y'all cuz I know y'all be watching my video now I'm gonna give you guys a pregnancy update cuz I feel like I've been talking a lot and I need to cut this video short I need to hurry it up because my daughter's in the tub right now so um a pregnancy update i told you guys that i am 34 weeks and six days and i'll be 35 weeks tomorrow 
and um, so on this app the what to expect app let's see so it's saying that silver's baby is as big as a pineapple so what kind of changes should I expect at 34 weeks and six days so they said that I should be expecting like some back aches some leg cramps stretch marks may show up as pink red purple reddish y'all um, I've had stretch marks since I started showing and I had stretch marks with my first so they never went away and that's just hereditary there's nothing you can really do there's no creams or anything that's gonna really work so yeah I just make sure that I continue to moisturize my stomach so that I don't get a lot more stretch marks so yeah there's nothing special that I really use for my stretch marks I use some shea butter uh, every night every morning and that's pretty much it I really haven't looked into anything that anybody else has used because I understand that you know there's no way to get rid of them for rough rough so yeah um shortness of breath insomnia um and there's some other things on here that may be a little bit too much this edema like swelling in feet and ankles I haven't got that and I hope I don't get that I didn't get that with my first so um they said fast growing hair I think my hair has been growing fast I don't know but definitely the shortness of breath y'all when I say that if I sit a certain way I can't breathe if I lay a certain way I can't breathe if I walk too fast I can't breathe like <laughs> that's real um leg cramps y'all when I say when I'm going to sleep and I'm trying to stretch or in the morning when you waking up and you trying to stretch I say I'm always like this close to catching a cramp I'm always this close to catching a cramp like this close and then the back aches so I'm carrying a lot up in the front whether that's my boobs or my stomach so the back aches has been on 10 like I don't think my back aches were this bad with my first pregnancy I don't think they were but my back aches has been so bad that I have to go to the chiropractor and I already told y'all in a video before that I'm getting a breast, re a breast reduction and I'm standing on that I'm gonna still be able to produce milk and all of that good stuff breastfeed so that's not even a concern for me just know that what's a concern for me is my big boobs and they need to go because they killing me let's see what else bloating and gas i don't think i've had too much of that constipation i haven't had too much of that um increased vaginal discharge yeah had some of that hemorrhoids from constipation uh leaking colostrum so that's leaking breast milk one of my boobs was leaking just a tiny bit i haven't really experienced too much of that but i feel like it's it's coming it's coming because there's a lot of milk in here there's a lot of milk i'm breastfeeding my baby okay and if i can share some if i produce enough i'm gonna share some with my nieces but yeah you guys that is pretty much it as far as like you know my pregnancy update some of the things that i've been experiencing some of the things that i um that I would expect to be to be experiencing at 34 weeks so my camera died but I will be getting you guys another update I guess in a week and a half yeah somewhere around there where because I'm basically 35 weeks somewhere around 36 weeks I will give you guys another update and then I do also plan on recording my labor and delivery because I do plan on having a water birth a natural water birth but we're gonna see how that goes because I'm not gonna be recording myself, of course. I'm gonna be in too much pain. So I'm gonna have to find somebody who's willing to record for me. So with that being said, that's later on. But let's go ahead and give you this bump update. As you guys can see, I am all stomach and boobs. Like I said earlier in this video, I'm carrying a lot in the front. So that's the reason for my back pain. Now you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. But yeah, your girl is getting so big and I just feel her moving all the time and I just love it because it's like one of the best feelings in the world. I just love this little girl and cannot wait to meet her. But y'all see my stretch marks? I'm just like, it's all bad, but I'll be all right. I'm going to snap back and I'm going to, you know, probably won't even notice it. So maybe later on I'll give you guys a post-birth update and stuff like that with my stomach. 
but yes this is it and also you guys i never mentioned my pelvic pain that i've been experiencing um during this pregnancy as well my pelvic pain has been on 10 as well that i had to get a, a pregnancy bell which has been helping a little bit but what i'm doing right now is i'm attending a yoga class an online virtual yoga class and i am doing some exercises that is helping with my pelvic pain so i just wanted to add this little clip in before i ended this video as well but thank you guys for watching make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit that notification bell also y'all can y'all comment in the comment sections below like some of the things that may have helped you with like some of the things that i've talked about that i've been experiencing during my pregnancy or if you have questions about anything please let me know in the comment sections